Here in the Better Homes and Gardens test garden, we use a lot of tools. Here are five we think every gardener should have. This type of hoe, often known as a hula hoe, but sometimes by other names, has been around for decades and is still the best general weeding hoe. A back and forth action lets it cut weeds in both directions, and it's designed not to dig in deeply, so it glides back and forth with less effort than the chopping action of a typical hoe. When it comes to digging holes, a planting spade beats a regular shovel every time. Its long, narrow blade penetrates the ground more easily, and the handle is straight rather than angled, which makes it easy to dig a straight-sided planting hole. Here's another substitute for a shovel. Spading forks mix soil much better than shovels, so they're better for tilling flower beds and vegetable gardens. They also help you pry up perennials for dividing without cutting all the roots, like a shovel will. Once you use a fork, you'll see how much better it is for turning soil or dividing perennials. For planting bulbs, an auger is a good substitute for a trowel, especially for hard soil or tight spaces between plants. Most gardeners are familiar with augers like this two inch model, but for small bulbs, this narrower version is far superior. It digs into lawns without making too large of a hole, and it requires a lot less power to use than a larger auger, so it works even with smaller cordless drills. The smaller size is just right for planting crocus and grape hyacinth bulbs. And here's another trick. Use it to dig holes around trees and pour in your own fertilizer, instead of using tree spikes or deep root feeders. Every gardener needs a good pair of shears, but scissor type snips, like this one from OXO, are easier to use for light trimming, like deadheading, cutting flowers, or harvesting vegetables. The long straight blades have good reach and light duty snips weigh less than regular shears, so they're less tiring to use.